Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And as you can see, I'm still dressed in the shamrocky green of my St. Patrick's Day special. Now that's because as I'm recording this, I am still working on that. I still need a few runs, which will be interesting to get because now it's the double money has gone away. I've been busy. It's been busy. Didn't get everything in one shot there. So, at any rate... While I'm trying to get some of those those runs in today, I'm also going to be selling off some of my fleet. See, I just bought the, the adder. I had to have another adder. I had some ideas for ways I could customize it, and I wanted to, I had, wanted to have one for this account. It's just such a good-looking car. But that took my last parking space. I, I got no more room. I can do nothing else. And I do have some... Some cars that are just either there for the memes or had significance once upon a time many moons ago. And I think I'm going to have to make some room. I'd really would just rather have another garage. But I don't see us getting another garage for some time. That's going to that's gonna be a while. Maybe, maybe in the summer update? I mean, they'll give us a, another garage space just to... But maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Who knows what they're going to do. So, we got to make some room. So, as I'm in and out of things, recording things, this will be... Because you only get rid of one car per game day. Which is just dang silly. But what are you going to do? We're just going to have to do that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, in a roundabout way, get rid of this Strombird. Uh, this one was a freebie. Alright. So. I don't think I can get any value out of selling say? this one. I have my other white one, my Spy Hunter. Now what do you need? That I can get rid of. Here's the. Prepare to say goodbye to this. Another. It's one of those places where it's like 8668. There's a balance to the numbers 8668. MVW. Yes, yeah, it's an interesting plate. I don't know if we'll, we'll put Life the Spy Hunter on it. Anyway, anything. it's fully loaded. But, we want to make that more of the... This will be going in the James Bond garage kind of thing. Respray. Primary color. Might even want to go classic with this. Get down, but we'll go down to the ice whites here. Making decisions is stressful. Your cosmetics are on point. Shows you the, the difference between the white and the cream. Let's see, what was what, pearlescent chili pie? It's gotta be just white, white, white. Does it have an ice white pearlescent? That's probably the... Do you need a drink? Bubbles? I guess it doesn't really even have it. Okay, let's Girl, put a nice white pearlescent on top of it. Secondary. Also, ice white. Body work to match the so we have the full James Bond effect. I guess we could two-tone it black, but... We can always tweak this. Transmission there. Wheels. Wheel type. Muscle. Stock rims. Let's just put the stock wheels back on it. <coughs> Chrome, it's the same. If stock is stock. It, I can do it. Tires. Yeah, they're bulletproof. Tire smoke. Put it back white. It's no longer a lemon mobile. And I'll leave the plate for right now. Exit to ground. We'll use it to get where we need to get. I can even we can even take a quick uh, run. We're stuck. We're not doing that just yet. I'm on mission. We can we can zip along. Yeah. Breaks, breaks, breaks. Let me check one thing. Did the uh, did the settings hold? I switched. Yeah. Okay. 
I have a machine gun pointed at you. Don't nuzzle me. I'm checking my set. Because when you, when you get one of these on a raggle sale, I think I got this one as a freebie. Selling it, you get the you know the the, uh, the amount for the mods, and that's it. I'm fairly certain I got my other Stromberg on a sale of some nature too. So we're limited to what we can get back here, but we're gonna have to here figure out which one's worth more. Stromberg, you go to sell. So this is only worth half a million dollars, and that's considering how expensive the car is. It's not a lot. So we exit. We're not even repairing it because we're going to send it back to the garage via the menu. Okay? Watch this. What we're going to do, return it to storage. Should have driven out to the road first. But then we're going to call in the other one. We're going to go up here, mechanic, or mechanique. Say it. What you need, boss? Some wheels? We I can bring them around. The nightclub garage. I Ooh, which one? B3? No. Be no B2. There we go. Call in our original. I'll get there Robert. as soon as I Let's can. See what okay. I got stuff to do. We're gonna get rid of whichever one. I only need one. Do I even need one now that I have a Torridor? Uh. In a heads-up battle. You would think that the Stromberg would have an advantage because it has more armor. And the same missiles, but it does have a limited amount of the same missiles. Is there not or does it? Is it unlimited torpedoes? Unlimited? As you can see, it's the same car. With the Spy Hunter plate. But would James Bond really be running a custom plate? What brings you in today? go to sell that's a lot more money and I think that's worth doing I mean if I have no parking there's no point in having two Strombergs and I'm sorry this is you know this is the original this is the one I would always my go to my spy hunter it's a good car but a million bucks and I get a place and I get to keep a Stromberg that looks exactly like it and let's face it this is digital stuff it's completely undetectable one from another. There's probably some code in there that ties it to the plate that says this is one car and that's the other, but eh. Folks, it's time to say goodbye. Are you sure? Yeah. I need, I'm out of parking. I got two Strombergs that are now identical. And that's a million dollars. Sold. Whoosh. Bang. And now let's move the other one to the parking space. Mechanique. Might be still in the cooldown, but might not be. They shortened up the cooldown pretty well. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. Some I'll hook you up. Stromberg. I'll bring it by. Come on, Mechanique. There we go. This is probably the biggest ticket item that I... I changed out. The Lemonade Man. Ah, I haven't been doing that character in a while. The psychotic version of... The Black Knight. It's a car hardly used, too. You have two of them when it's a car you hardly use. There are some cases where I have multiples, like the retinues and stuff like that. I don't know which account I had the two retinues on. I made that mistake of getting two of them, and I, I just modified them such that they're radically different cars. But the, the yellow one... What is it? Level two? Yeah. If I can get in, it's the right one, because these are all full.
And there you have it, but for the plate, my spy cop television kind of garage is back still. Here, this was a James Bond-ish kind of car. That's, of course, Sonny's Ferrari from Miami Vice. You got, of course, the one from the Bond movie where it turns into a sub, which is what that's based on. You got James May's uh, Lotus from the the Argentinian debacle where they almost got killed because the, the mobs were coming to get them. Which you bet you wish he had the machine guns then. And it's still very much a James Bondy kind of car. Obviously, James Bondy kind of car. I think this is the regular one. This isn't the one that actually has guns in it. But I have one that has guns in it, so I don't know which ones. Yeah, this is just a regular JB700. It's a pretender. I might I might swap out that one with the, with the real one. This is just here. I got it for nothing. I'll sell it for nothing. There's no point in selling it. There might not be any point in keeping it, to be honest, to be fair. Because it's really not that great a bike, as far as I can tell. Um, of course, because he's British, we've got, you know, a Bruffy 13... Oh, yeah, Ruffy 1322 car here. The Hateful Machine. He's obviously at the club. And this is obviously what he would cruise to in the club. Because for all this memeing on the, the F620, I'm sure he really loves it. This is, uh, you know, a car that is an homage to a black Porsche that is currently owned by a good friend of mine. And he's, believe it or not, I tell you, he's one of the most interesting people because... He's, he's so humble, he won't even tell you he has a Porsche. He refers to it as, you know, the black car. He doesn't really, you know, he's just a very humble, very religious guy. But, I mean, he also, you know, has hung out with people from, oh, what was the band? I want to say it was Disturbed. He was like the, the bass guy from Disturbed or something like that. Where the guy was actually, whoever it was, it was like a heavy metal band like that. And the guy was very religious. And they, they hung out at some point, and he's, he has some friends in the music industry, and he gets to go into clubs like this, where there's a VIP room, and knows, hasn't done it in a while, to my knowledge. He hasn't, he hasn't been out to LA in a while. Was involved, he's an artist, and an engineer, and a very, very complicated fellow, and he's, he's a good guy to know, and very, very interesting guy. We, and we worked together for some years, it was, it was, it was good times. Still good time. Still friends with him. Still talk to him every few weeks. And of course, we got our Austin Powers cars. This would have been. I, I really do wish. I do love the D-type. I mean, the D-type's a great car. This drives terrible here. And all kinds of advanced handling flags. But I mean, the E-type is closer to my heart. That would. That you know. That would have been good. Of course, if I if it was an E-type, I would have had to get two of them. Because the same guy who has this Porsche also has an E-type. But. Maybe you have an E-Type, or, you know, maybe I'd have the E-Type here instead of the Porsche. But this would have been better as, as an E-Type convertible. But, hey, we'll take it. We'll, we'll, we'll drink in its Austin Powers paint job and one-letter offness. And the D-Type is a beautiful car. Arguably as beautiful or more beautiful, depending on your taste. I don't know. The E-Type is just so beautiful. But, and, of course, we got the, the VET. Also, these, clearly, these are Austin Powers. Stuff. That's just how that is. All right, so we're we're definitely at the point of on to the next car. You know, here's a case where I have two of the same car, but they are so very different. I mean, just so different in in their modifications. I really don't want to get rid of either one. You know, one of them is a, a ZZ Top homage. The whole I got to get paid video kind of thing. It's as close as I can make it. I might be able to do a little better now that there's some more wheel options. We have to look at that. But I just love this like super dark green with, with the purple paint over the top. That's just great. Yeah, not getting it. And this is another one. I have another one of these someplace. You know, in more true purpley kind of paint. So this is my my one flame ride. I paid for this. I'm almost positive that I paid money for this because I got this is one of the few shark card purchases. I didn't know if this would ever be available again. So I got two of them. Not staying. And no reason to get rid of that. Or that. Or that. You know, these I like. I might. I'm going to do more with this one. 
It was funny because I did just build this exactly like I built this almost by accident. Almost. But just the tastes were there. I was trying to minimize the, uh, the smallness of the wheels because you just say make the wheels smaller on the, on the low rider for clearance purposes. But this is, that's going to get an update. That's, but it's not going anywhere. So for the purpose of this video, this one's always been on the bubble. You know, the hot knife is not a great car to drive. It does look cool. If, if the, the secondaries and primaries are a little bit different, so you can make it look more alike the ZZ Top car without making it just all red. I mean, you just can't get any kind of, there's no you know, livery for it. It's just, you know, it is what it is. But I have put it in my own kind of livery here, the two colors of the uh, of the nightclub. This is the nightclub hot rod, so we're going to keep that for now. Now this garage is an interesting smorgasbord of cars here. It's a, a different, different take on stuff. You got the Independence Day Special. They moved down here just to make some room in the office from the other specials. Gotta keep that. I love this car. I just really do. And you can see right now, I really love those turbo kind of wheels. We had, when I was growing up, we had a, uh, a Ford Thunderbird, a 77 that had wheels similar to that. And I had similar wheels on my uh, on my, my Regal that I used to drive when I was in high school. So I, I do, I have personal attachment to those wheels. And you got my original lowrider the Voodoo. This was in Steelers colors for the longest time, and then I got tired of having that look, and I gave it this look. This one's always, you know, open to being repainted, and I might have some ideas for this coming up. As a matter of fact, I was going to switch this over just to a plain Jane Brown, and then before I took the livery off, I'm like, nope, that works. So we worked with that. This is based on a, a car that I, I saw on a road trip once, it looked pretty much like this. I thought, hey, I can make that car. And I did. Do I need to keep it? Yeah, I think for right now. For right now, it, it, this, is, this isn't on the bubble, really. We've got... I've got a number of Futos, but I love them all. They're all just different paints and different things. And this is... This tricked out in the livery of the nightclub. We're going to keep that one. With the Dallas... Again, nightclub livery Patriot. This was originally with the, the other Patriots up in the other garage, and I brought it down here to match the the stretch limo. We'll go past that at some point. So I'm not getting rid of that. I'm not getting rid of any of the Patriots. That's a spoiler alert. Not not losing any of the Patriots anytime soon. For various reasons. This one's modified, this one it should be insured. It is insured. It is uh this was my off-roady kind of tough one. It does have the side pipes. I think that's one of the things, one of the reasons I kept it. But anyway, I forget. There's certain things that disappear when you take it in. I think the, the side pipes might be one of them. This one I was able to get, and it does have the side pipes, and it's off-roady. It's a keeper. Obviously, you know, I've got, this is another case of where I've got doubles. I've got two of these. All right. I've got two, two revolters, two night sharks. The other ones you'll see later. I'm not planning on selling them. First of all, it was another case where these were free. I'm not going to get much back on them. It's going to be expensive to replace them. So why not keep them if you really like them? And that's... The, this is going to get repainted. This I'm going to do a complete Night Shark. I'm going to use that blue ultra... That, that, that stone... That, what was it? The Midnight Silver Ultra Blue kind of sharky kind of look to it. I think I like that. I think I'm going to go with that. This is going to get a different look because, again, I'm tiring a little bit of the lemonade paint job. And I have I have some of those that are in the uh, the arena war that are bright yellow and stuff like that. We can we can stick with those. But this one, obviously, that's that was made just for, you know, I, I repainted this just for the uh, the St. Patrick's Day video. We're keeping that. That's been recently used, and I do like I do like the way that turned out. I really do. It's gaudy, and that was the point of just, you know, something you'd see in a St. Patrick's Day parade kind of look. And this is going to get reworked. Oh, my goodness. This might get a paint job at some point. I may give it off-roaders. 
but this is this is the car you have to have especially if you if you go on any kind of off-road you can, if you go on rally you will own just about everything in this i've owned italian gtos with this car because they can maybe you can keep ahead of you till they get to the, the the you know the tough technical sections where there's dirt and stuff like that but you can really you can really clean up with this car i love it i love the issy sport and of course this one i didn't realize i was going to do a garage tour a full maybe let's we'll do another garage tour why i'm not getting rid of this or why i'm not getting rid of that this is you would think an obvious candidate because it's just a full estate but it's it's an homage to a car that my my uncle butch god rest him had and uh, he, you know this is my uncle butch homage i'm gonna keep that he had a, he had a crossfire i think was about this color i have to figure out if it's exactly the right color it might be a little bit lighter you can always change that up but that's saying come on this is my divesse the one thing i think i might do though for as much as i like this paint job and i do like this paint job I might give it a different pearlescent and make it a little bit wilder. That's something I might do. So I have some paint job plans, but this is this is a staple. I, this is just the car for stunt races, as far as I'm concerned. So good in the tubes. Not green machine. Green machine. It does very well until you get to those certain jumps, and then it barely makes them because there's some physics going on with this that it does not like. So there's that, but. That's definitely a keeper. We might as well just do the whole thing. Here we are back in the office. I have Irished up my uh, Shotaro here for St. Paddy's Day. We've got a golden green. Looking kind of mean. Probably going to get a repaint. Not that it's a bad color. It's not an emergency repaint. But I'm thinking of going back to uh, some kind of mix of blue and ultra blue. And maybe that whole, maybe that whole paint job I'm obsessed with right now but we'll see it could be something different it could be something different keeper yeah I mean, i've been over this where i don't really need that many duke of deaths but i mean it's another one one of those where i love every single one of them every single one of them brings a little bit something different and i just i'm not gonna get rid of them unless i absolutely have to obviously it's a mainstay vehicle you need one of these absolute keeper absolute keeper i'm not going to dwell too much on, on any of this stuff let's take a run upstairs here see if there's anything else this these are all all these cars are based on cars from real life for me and the, the family history of things homages in one way or another Again, homages in one way or another. Except this one. This is a standard racer. Which could use another paint job, possibly. It's, but I mean, this is just, you know... For when I want to race a clique, and I don't feel like having the full holiday effect. And it is a free car, so probably not getting much out of it. So, there you go. I think it's a free car. They get to be free every once in a while. I think I got... I might have paid for one of these. That, that's a possibility. Because you might have only gotten one free car. Those might be the one with the bows. And I might have bought, bought this one on some kind of sale or something. Other. But anyway, I'm not, not planning on getting rid of that anytime soon. And we'll take a quick run upstairs. Is this, is this, is this, is this the maximum? Okay, we're all the way up there. Let's take a run up to the next floor. And yeah, here, things are where things are expensive. You got, you know... Deluxos, oppressors, vigilantes. Not really getting you know, rid of any of these. Then there's the blank where there's strong, the extra Stromberg was. And we've got my Yosemite here, my Yosemite. Which uh, is another, it's another homage car. This is again similar to one that well, I think my, my brother in law still has it. Last time I talked to him, he still had it, he's still working on it. But you know, it's a busy old life. Let's take a quick run upstairs. Do 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 do. And A Team, Scooby Doo, Dukes of Hazard, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation. Another 48 hours here. 48 hours and another 48 hours. Um, Wayne's World, Wayne's World. It's the Merce Mobile. Excellent. And Initial D. So yeah, those are all 
kind of homages that I don't plan on getting rid of anytime soon. And of course, you know, that's the Grand Theft Auto Vice City. This is the, the one that you can get once you buy the car a lot. You know, the whole car sales place. You can get to drive one around those all the time. That was one of the better cars to drive, in my opinion. It was, it had, I liked that one. These two, I actually paid money for. Halloween, that was the first Halloween thing. I didn't have any cash. I shark carted these. Yeah, those are those are staying. I mean, I liked them anyway, but those are staying. This was, I want to say that was a freebie, wasn't this? This came out, it was, it's the original Christmas special. That came out uh, at Christmas times, this Tampa. But, um, so yeah, I like the Tampa. Tampa's a cool car. I'm going to keep the Tampa. The recently revamped Valentine's Day special. Let's, let's uh, change viewpoints here. I say recently revamped because I got rid of the pink lights on it. So it's got gold lights that kind of go with the secondary. There's the yellow. Yellow lights also go with... Can I turn my headlights on inside? No? Okay, they go with the headlights. I do like that car. That's another one that you just have to like. And, of course, you know, the St. Patty's Day special. One of the reasons I'm still doing races is I want to get this into a race. And that hasn't happened uh, at all. It is a muscle car, believe it or not. And I, again, I've said before, I believe the reason they made this a muscle car is because if you go back into the history of the Chevy Astro, you used to be able to get that with a, a you know, a pretty, a pretty for the time, pretty powerful engine and a stick shift. And, you know, if you watch, I know there's a donut media film where they go on about the Astro being a muscle car. So I think that's that somebody has a history. I think there's somebody with a history with Chevy involved with, with GTA anyway. They do seem to do some good things with Chevys. And, you know, the only time you see a, a 5 liter Mustang is as a rusted heap on the side of the road. I do not know why they don't give us, you know, what would be, I believe, from GTA 4, the Uranus. How can you not have the Uranus in this? They, they, well, whatever. That's it is what it is. I don't have parking for it just yet anyway, so that, that's where that's at. The Easter special, probably going to be trying to make an Easter video pretty soon. I might do it the same way I'm doing the St. Patrick's Day one. Because really, you can't, there's nothing religious you can hook to in, in GTA. Except doing things that would, in real life, send you to hell. So, I mean, you know, this is uh, that kind of thing here. Where we might be able to try to do some racing. I'll try and pick out cars that were very eastery like that like that uh, orange eclipse that that would be that's an easter eggy kind of car and this would we'll lock ourselves to this in muscle class if we end up on dual the only muscle stunt why is there only one really must oh there's two there's trench two for trench two or dual we'll do that still not enough and let's see we have one more garage to do here at the office and here we are, the Top Gear Grand Tour Hoobies Garage. There's one Hoobies Garage car in here. Might be more at some point. Because he's just getting all kinds of stuff. And you had your Vietnam special. Then there was the race. He went there. Actually, probably drove a Ford GT not too far from my home. That went through Pennsylvania. So I recognized some of those when he was on either 80 or 380. And I said, hey, I think I, for like a tenth of a second. So, tenth of a second, I'll keep that car. <sighs> I just love this car. I just love it. Like, how can you not? It's just, look at it. Same with the paint. I, I love this one. I mean, you know, again, you can have your opinions. But this is, look at the paint job. Mm, it's creamy. These are all all cars that are typical for those shows. Here's the car that Richard Hammond blew up. He flipped it, took it off the edge of the hill climb, rolled it. Everyone thought he'd been killed. There was fire. The car burned for a week because it's electric. And that's a thing. So none of these are going anywhere. That FMJ, that's a good all-rounder anyway. It's, you know, I mean, not as good a rounder as the Nero. you got to have an Emirates. You know... Here's the trifecta from the first... Uh, I'm not going to agonize it. I don't want these to be a quick thing. Here's the trifecta from the first uh, first series. Here's the Emirates. 
And of course the trifecta from the first series. I'm not going to agonize over these. I'm just going to look at what, uh, you know, why I'm not getting rid of them. This, of course, you know, is the Sesta Elemento that, you know, Richard Hammond drove. There's lots of episodes with Lamborghinis. You gotta, they, they, and those are both good cars. I like the Vaca. The Vaca's got an interesting test, of course. This is a, a very Hammondy kind of bike. I'm sure they know they've done some stuff with, you know, Lada's. you got to have at least one. If you don't have a Chebrek, I mean, really, what are you doing? It's just, I love the Chebrek. I love its slidiness. I love its silliness. I love the fact that I have it in Chrome Crew, the Chrome Crew glitch paint with, you know, the meaning of life 42 on the side of the whole thing, which is not the meaning of life, but, you know. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a very funny book until you realize he was serious, and then you think, my goodness, man, you really needed a less miserable philosophy. But we'll see how that uh, how that all goes. Gotta have a Nero. Love the Nero. It's just a thing. That's another good all-rounder. I actually, you know, I'm not going to say I prefer it in races over the custom. Because it does well, do well, but it does well enough on its own. And if you, I do like the look of this better than the custom, so it's, it's more up class. It's a must-have. This is you have to have at least one Bifta. I think I only kept one Bifta. I've already gotten rid of the other two Biftas that were homages to the three Biftas, and I kept the Clarkson one because it was not only the wildest color scheme and all that kind of thing, but I might be able to perk up the purple a little bit. But it had a wing, and so, although that wing was on the front in the show, you needed a wing so this would be max performance. And let's start. Keeper. 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 And here's our Hoovy reference. The pink rolls the pink. Keeper. 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 Hoovy Keeper. Here's the purple Rolls Royce that he has since sold. But still, the purple Rolls Royce. Keeper. And then we're uh, looking out the window. And here we are in my original garage with some of my original cars. As a matter of fact, this is the first car I ever pulled off the street. This was what I started the game with and never getting rid of this Phoenix. Gonna repaint it a bit. Got the chrome, uh, you know, the chrome crew paint with a black stripe. But I think that's that's gonna. We're gonna do something different with this soon. I think it looked cool. Never been. I, I did black and gold, but the gold w didn't pop on it. It wasn't like quite bright enough, and I got rid of that. And I went to other things. I could do it just straight up gold, like you know the Rockford Files. That's a thought. Do a Rockford Files homage. I used to love that. Don't remember a single plot from the show. The show itself was boring, but he drove a gold Trans Am, and that was really all that. It. it wasn't this year. Trans was an older one. It was you know the, the, one of the first Trans Ams. I think it was a Gen One. I'd have to look. I'd have to look and see if it was a Gen One or a Gen Two Trans Am. But you know, and my dad had a gold Mustang, so gold cars. That's a, that's the whole thing. All of these. This was almost on the bubble. I almost got rid of this because I could just quickly replace it for pretty much not much. But I just, I just, again, it's, it's straight out of, you know, Fast and the Furious. What do you, how do you, you know, um, how you do that? Keeper, keeper, this, well, I mean, you have to go up on a mountain and then shoot somebody in the head before it drives off the, the cliff kind of thing. That, that was just annoying to get. We're, we're keeping, this is a, a rare, the mariachi tornado. You gotta. Hang on to the mariachi tornado. Eh. I'm not happy with the paint job, but I'm going to keep the car. I have to work on this. I have to work on what I'm going to do with that. Keeper. Here's, yeah, wheel jack. Love my schlagen. And there's the TV. Arcade. You got my, my original cars, my Zion. That's my main, still my main coupe racer. You got the 8F Drafter. Again, I'm not getting rid of that one anytime soon. Obviously Keeper. Obviously a Keeper. Gotta have it in furnace. Tesseract. It's a special situation car, but... I might I might get rid of the Batman paint mode here. Just, just, to, just to mix it up. 
I'm keeping the Tesseract. We might get a livery on that and some cool paint at some point. Ah, the Kanjo. I put so much effort into a Kanjo video trying to demonstrate that the Kanjo was a better choice than the Blista. Not the Blista, the, the, the um, Brioso. I did a whole Brioso versus Kanjo video. There was a lot of work into it. And then it got completely obsoleted by the club. Everything got obsoleted by the club. But I like this car. I don't care what you say about this car. This is one that I like. I enjoy driving it. And that's all there is to it. And if I'm ever in a race where they say, all right, no clubs, just race your compacts, this is my go-to. I've been talking about repainting this for a long time. Still there. Another variation on an homage for my brother-in-law's truck. There you, there you go, Mark. You can, you can leave this as an option for you. This go dual turbo on the, the, the Chevy 350 or whatever it was you had. I can't remember. Was it a 327, 350, 383? I don't remember. It was, it was a big Chevy motor. Got the the uh, you know number one vehicle for racing SUVs. And it looks like one of the ones from Top Gear, Grand Tour, one of them. So there's that. And okay, the 4x4 garage, which does have a couple outliers right up the front here. We have, yeah, of course, you know, my Monroe. Another Duke of Death that I could get rid of, but I like the paint jobs of there. The Patriots, we've gone over why these are collectible for some reason. This one, totally uninsured, because if I insure it, they'll lose the bug, you know, the bug guard there, the grill guard. If I take it into a shop, because they just got stripped away. And hanging on to that until they fix that bug. This is my original Patriot, which doesn't have the grill guard, but does have the side pipes, which I also believe gets stripped away. Those are the, the magic side pipes there. And we've got, the, it does have the lights that you can't get anymore. And it's insured, and it's painted with a custom paint job. You just, you cannot make this vehicle anymore, so that's not going anywhere. This one's, how you go, how, that's just stripped as it is stripped when you pull it in. When you pull it in, all the stuff goes away from it. I gave it the, the custom chrome crew glitch paint job. So this is, you know, someday when they actually fix it and you can't strip everything off unless you really work at it, this will be, this is going to be a rare thing there too. This one has some history to it because I was trying to, you know, get the Dubster 2 and I was doing it the wrong way and I finally got frustrated and I stole the chrome one and I put gold on it and that's that there was a whole video about that. So that's 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 a car history. Ah, oh, the Lego brick. This one I'm keeping mostly because it would be expensive to replace. I got it on sale. Yeah, that's about it. And the fact that it does have a kind of a neat gun on it. That's the whole there's a whole thing there. I do I do like the way that's that's a pretty unique gun, I think. Difficult to get, so I'm keeping it. One, of, this is, I believe, one of two that I might have that I'm going to repaint. I don't know if this is this account might only have one. This this character, maybe it's Rusty Jack that is two. This, I will have to look. This might be the only one I got of those. That yep, that's a Merryweather one. Both my racers, like you don't say. So nothing, nothing's leaving here. Okay, why are the buses and people screaming and cars just teleporting in? I just appeared. That was mine from really, just the way teleporting. Here we go. Hey, Grab this. Oh, there's aircraft and things. And I'm close to my garages, though. So that works. It doesn't work for me moving anything to sell if there's airplanes going on. But well, you could you could be dangerous, I guess. Not selling this one. We can go over the warehouses on this side. Let's see, do you think parked outside will my car survive? If no one notices it. We're going to go where it's nice and safe. And here we go. Now, that, I believe, is one of the cars I won, so I'm going to hang on to that. But it's, it's hard to give up a, a wheel car. First of all, if you spin the wheel, I don't think it has any intrinsic value. I've, I've seen some things where you can wait a, a week and then you can sell it, but eh. Love Way 190. Now, oh, there's the phone. Okay, so here we have another interesting selection of cars. I think this one, this was one I think I won. 
think that was a podium car. I could be wrong. And it's a keeper. This might seem like an obvious one to get rid of. Because, you know, just a gold. Yeah, obviously I painted it gold. Why would you paint a felon gold? Why would you keep a felon? What's the point of the felon? I jacked this one because I thought, again, I was under the impression that the felon had some special racing attributes, which its special racing attributes are tipping over. It tends to flip. But look at the license plate. TBK. How can I get rid of a car with a TBK license plate? No. Could get rid of the Sultan. I've had that Sultan a long time. It does look cool. I mean, as far as Sultans go, that that's not going to be a priority to sell, though. This is like one of those rare hot rod grabs that you get off the street. I'm going to hang on to that. My Stanier. I remember reading something on forums when I was first playing the game that just people liked racing the Stanier because it was stable and kind of tough. It, it hasn't got anything in a race against a, sha a shaft or V12, but I mean, you know, I painted it. I, originally, this is a, a throwback to my days when all my cars were painted black and then I gave them a pearlescent to give them a little bit of character. Yeah, could it go? Actually, I might paint this a light gold and then it would look a lot like the car I drove off to on the, the rental that we took for my honeymoon. And we were taking, it was just a rental from the wedding to to the hotel for that night and then we went off to the airport in the morning returned the car and then we were off on our honeymoon so maybe i'll give that a gold paint job at some point just to, to memorialize something that's a bit more even than my early days of gta with this paint job this one i grabbed off the street almost exactly as it is it's a ruiner you have to have a ruiner they're just a nice car to drive as far as muscles are concerned this is the richard hammond homage to the time he had like that armored car that he drove through johannesburg Tyrant. There's my purple tyrant. Hi. So, yeah, nothing really going on here. I switched over to, uh, went through the effort of getting a, an empty lobby here. So, through, because I was getting lag issues and I was getting all kinds of problems. There were people screaming at each other in the chat. It was ugly. It got ugly. It got ugly quick. Let's see over here. I should be able to sell a car if I find one I can sell. Should be able to sell a car if I can find one I can sell. Poop. Should be able to sell a car if I can find one I can sell. And look, guys, I know this is a vanity piece for me. I'm just marking down what I got and remembering the stuff that I get rid of. And, you know. Here we got Herbie. Gotta hang on to Herbie. And somewhere I think I have the actual... Um, this is one I purchased. I have another one. That, that actually is the Love Herbie. The, the Love one that's the, the, the English Dave car. Got a Raptor. Here's the car that was the star of the... Uh, the lot, well, one of the main stars of the St. Patrick's Day special. You're doing... Really overperforming, really doing better than I thought it would. This is this is the car that I like, the green machine. And again, it's one of my oldest ones. And then we got all the rally cars that we put together, and a couple of them are duplicates, but I, I think these two are duplicates, but I said the heck with it. I'm just gonna do them up different. I could I could pick one. If I really wanted to, you know, and say, hey look, well, this one's more of a clean clean Italian build. You know, am I always going to race the, the the Ron Racing? I don't know. So I could do that, but I got these, I think, for free or cheap. So, again, you're not gaining much. Sylvester, I got that going. I know we just talked about, you know, my uh, my Searchlight Transformer here. That was in another, another video. And the, so nothing here is going. Nothing, nothing here is going. Matter of fact, a lot of this might be just, you know, more material that you've just seen or maybe you didn't see the last video so we're putting it all together this is as of today this is where it's going on here i did now you have my my mr bean issy that's not going anywhere so nothing getting sold here okay a quick run through the the arena stuff here obviously these cars are mostly legendary that that was when i actually grabbed off the street and it saved me for some reason i turned it into a a super expensive car. There's your last V8. These are all all important vehicles. We're not getting rid of any of these. Uh, 
And we got these and these and that. And other open wheelers. Do 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 do. The Baz is special. I wonder how Baz is doing. Baz was a guy I played video games with like 15, 20 years ago. He's closing on 20 years ago. But 15 safely. And he was very much into anime. So there's a lot of stories here. But there's my golf. Yeah, that getting rid of that. Still trying to unlock metallic lime to get that done properly. Got my old Bugatti here, but up down, none of that's going anywhere. Got a V2. Okay, there's my JV Hip 700 with can have weapons and doesn't have weapons. So it ends up being a clean one that I can't race versus one with fake guns that I can. The, the goat. The GTO. I could theoretically get rid of this Vigero, but I'm I'm not really. I like the Vigero. I'm going to keep that. This is the brand new edition. We've done nothing with yet. Right there, it kind of looks like. Um, is it drift? Is that the transformer? I think it's drift. I don't know, I'd have to look it up. What's the other one? There's a couple different ones. But anyway. Probably not going to keep it that way. We got Bumblebee. Hey, we got Bumblebee and Drift. Now, that might be a thing we could park them next to each other someplace if we keep the paint job. We'll have to, we'll have to investigate the, the closest thing we could do there. My Itali GTV, which I'm still trying to figure out why Buffy's one of his top five or top ten or something like that. Got the uh, the pole dancing Brioso. That's the slowest car you could probably get in the compact class. I got my Ron Classic. Oh, what the heck is this? Sentinel? Sentinel Classic. There you go. So none of this going anywhere. What do we want? Let's take something, though. It's, you know what? We'll go back to, go grab something. Let's grab the Vajera. Okay, now we're down by the, the other nightclub that I don't, you know, the Rusty Jack nightclub. And here we have, there is the English Dave Slam Daddy. Can't, I gotta have at least one Herbie and at least one English Dave mobile. Uh, I do like the LG Retro Custom. I've always kind of liked the way that turned out. Do I have two of these? You know what? I just realized something. That other that other ETR one that I was racing. I'll have to mention this in the other video because it's not done yet. That must have been a stock one because I thought it was my ETR one and it's not. Well, this is my ETR one and it's white. So I took a stock ETR one and did that well with it in that other video. Oh, wow. I'll have to, okay, I'll put a commentary on that. That's interesting. That, if you go back, my St. Patrick's Day special, which will have been out already for 2021, there, there was some ETR one action in it. And we got Burger Shot over here. This is a freebie. I like the car. It is a freebie. I can get it back whenever. I just do like the look of it, though. I mean, I just like the Burger Shot Stallion. It's just... I mean, look at it. I mean, look at it. How can you not? Obviously, Chris Foster. Obviously, you know, the Hot Ring Saber. This thing. It's all, this is all on the looks, really. It's all on the looks. If I was really pressed, that would be one that will go. I am pressed, but I'm, you know, if I need, if I was full, this is one I could sell. But it is a four-door sports car. It's the only four-door sports car, so let's give it that. Four-door four -door muscle car, rather. There's lots of four-doors, but yeah, we're not, don't listen to me. RE7B might get a new paint job. Might get a new paint job. We might, we might tweak this puppy up a bit. But, for right now, Wagner... These two are obsolete, but they're they're good memory cars, and they are they are good on their own right. And if I ever get into some serious racing where they do lower tiers, I like to get to that. Pariah, you can see I did a whole team theory going here with the the, the Chrome Crew plus the Red Secondary. This and this is the car that inspired it. I thought it looked like a Tetra fish, so therefore you know those little tiny fish with the kind of trans translucent and silvery and never red in them and so yeah. So that's it's a very it's a fishy car. It's an angry fish. 
Okay, this bike, I think it was a freebie. Is this a zombie? I forget what the heck it is. So I could see getting rid of that one. It's not going to get run that very much. I also think it might be worthless. Let's let's go through everything here. This is a, a rare buggy that can only get a certain way, blah, blah, blah. So I'm keeping that. This I thought was going to be the fastest. This XS I thought was fastest and you know even faster than the Sentinel for a little while. Again, this is all my pre-Bruffy days. Sentimental car, keeping that. Again, you can see the, the red over black paint job that I put on it. Stratum. Stratum is a meme car to a certain extent. I had, you know... I had a Subaru that reminded me of this, but well, of course it wasn't done with the Chrome Crew. But I'd like to keep the Stratum. These two were freebies. Which also means that I get nothing for them and they're expensive to replace. I do like the way they turned out, so we're going to keep those if at all possible. This guy. This one's on the chopping block. What we have here is a dilettante that I painted very similar to the dilettantes used in the Fail Race Survive the Hunt videos. Like as if I, you know, to pretend that I had one ready if I was ever going to be a hunter and survive the hunt. Let us be honest with ourselves. That is extremely unlikely. And if it ever does happen, I'll be happy to go grab another dilettante and uh, and run with that. I'm not going to race it. If I'm ever going to race this is only the only thing that this is faster than as far as it compacts is, of course, the, um, the what do you call it? The Brioso 300. So this is going to go. I've got two issues. I've had this one, and I, this has avoided the chopping block a bunch of times because I did I did complete some stunts with it. It was a, it was a, it was a lucky vehicle. It's fully upgraded. So is this one. This had gone through some different paint changes and stuff like that. It's one of the originals, I believe. And it's a matter of all right. Look, I got two issues here. The TSC is not the greatest thing anyway. This has got sodas in it. This one doesn't. Do we want one with cup holders? Again, you can grab these off the street. I believe both of these were grabbed off the street. With the coffee in them. It's a matter of, do I want one with coffee in it or one with the cup holders closed? And I think I'm going to repaint it completely anyway. I think I'm going to go with a more of a gray paint job. That's a tough call. How are those there? They just kind of stick out of the dash, don't they? Like, where is it in here where you'd see where that will come out? No place. Is it a cup holder kind of car? Yeah. Those cup holders, though. Let me let me get in and see how they look when you're inside the car. Cup holders. Those are not attractive cup holders. So I think this one's gonna go. This one's gonna stay, and it's gonna get some serious upgrades. The Warrener. Man, I have an actual matchbox like this that I found. You know, it's, it's very close. That's the only reason I've kept it. You can see it is fully upgraded. It's got the titanium exhaust. But, I mean, I never drive it. It's not the most interesting car in the world. I think we can... I think this garage might be able... This might be a, our biggest boon for getting rid of stuff. And we'll start from the back. In case I change my mind on the ESCs in the next hour. But yeah, this one, we're going to get rid of the meme car. And we're going to do it in a video where we... We do immortalize it. As opposed to having to sell it off in some kind of emergency. 
get a car. Not gonna be worth a lot. I'm not thinking it's gonna be worth a while. Mm -hmm, it's so pink. This was just the, the purpose of this car was to get blown up. By Casino Royale in a fail race video, and that's that is unlikely to ever happen. Seventy-eight thousand. That just shows you how much how many upgrades I put into it. Bang. Say goodbye to the dilettante. And now I gotta wait forty-eight minutes. So that's a thing. See the Volcar Warner. Only 120 grand, and it's a car you can just buy. That's it. So it's not hard to get. Okay, this is letting me sell the vehicle almost immediately. Oh, let's do that. If I could just sell stuff that's my own now. Is that a thing? Is that a glitch? Is that. It used to be 48 minutes. Is it because? Is it because it's my own car and it's been there a long time? Like if I grab this one and then try and sell Is this it, a flashback? I bet you it wouldn't, wouldn't want me to do it. Like, I feel like I'm... What if I found a glitch and then they say, Oh, you sold too many cars. Shit, yo. Is it uninsured cars that they, they block you on? Or? Sorry, we don't need any vehicles right now. Okay, well, that makes sense. I'm just going to use this and abandon it. I'm not going to keep it and try and resell it. You can grab these all over the place for Sell it for a few K. Zip back here, now, but can I sit all on my own? That was that was quicker, a quicker turnaround. Which means cup holder, the cup holder car is gonna go. So the other one has a cleaner carry. I have to think. Oh, you, there's some old copy in this one. Starting to get some room. Considering the location, I'll probably pull some other cars down. From say, you know, probably the workshop. You need to do arena work. Probably the arena workshop. I'll bring some stuff down so that I can pull cars into the arena. Because do all the upgrades, even the military upgrades. That's the place you want some room. But not any of the named cars, because then if you move them out of the, that garage, this is mine. And it's the wrong one. I grab no no, I don't want to sell this one. Never mind. Hold on. Exit. I'm sure. I don't want to sell the gray one, I want to sell the green one. And then I'll do upgrades on this one bunch. Yeah. We need a plan. I don't even know. It's going to take a good amount of editing. It's a little bit superfluous with the video I put on the, the Keo Perico set of videos that came out on the ads in March of 2021. I did go through some sales and reviews then. I could have pulled the I could have pulled it in. Look at that. I'm so used to parking outside. Okay. This one. Ironic, I'm selling a green car. That could be a green compact. That, that could have been the green compact that I used in the races. Maybe I should wait. If it doesn't sell, that means I'll have to race this in the compact race. Although, no, it's not going to outpace my blister. My blister's pretty enough. Let's try to sell it. And maybe it'll tell me how. How green this is. I'm still working on the St. Patrick's Day special. Although, I almost, I think I've almost exhausted that. Nobody wants to race muscle cars. I don't know what that is. Black Knight's here. So now they won't now they won't do it. I did two very in short order. 
Ooh, that's the limit now? All right, well then maybe, if I end up in a compact series, if I end up in splits, do I have to take this with these more green than my blister? Is that the rule I'm gonna give myself? No, no I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to. This is nowhere near on the pace of mode. We handle it with that. I think it might be a little bit twitchy on the tubes as well. So. Not as bad as a real self, but. All right, well, we'll get rid of this in due time. And we'd like to know how much that's worth, because that's a zombie bubber. Zombie bobber. This is a motorcycle. Does that mean that uh, you don't need this vehicle? You don't need to see what it's worth? Bing! Uh, I didn't fall down. I fell down. So it does have the white walls, yeah. There's something to be said for it, but uh, Is it just taking up space? I think it might be. It also might be worth you. And if it's worthless, then they'll let us sell it. So, yes, all I can do is delete this. And that becomes an issue, because I got it for free. And the rain in my pajamas and... But I believe that's... How much is a zombie bobber normal? How much am I willing to throw away here? I mean, I can't get the money back from it. Western Zombie Chopper. It's 100k. If I want one, if I want another one, it's 100k. You know what? I think I need to spend this one. Nice bike. I got it for free on a freebie, freebie special. Sell it. Let's get rid of it. It's another parking space. Speaking of it, hey mechanic, where's that other free bike? On the clock, what you want? Some wheels? There's a nemesis. No, it's in, it's in this one. Or is it? That was in with the um Yeah, Nemesis, sorry. It's coming at you. Okay, no, I got stuff to do. Incipe Nemesis. How much is a Nemesis normally cost? It's like a million dollars. Well, then, you know. And then you're on this side. There's an Esky, Vortex, Nemesis, Chimera, Bobber, Blazer, Bagger, Rat, Bike, Manchas. We're really going down the list here. Oh, is this one? Ah, what the fetch is it's that one of the pieces of the things. Gassi, Diabolus. No, not the Nemesis. Alright, it must be a legendary one, right? Yeah. Or did I just not see it? I don't know Vindicator, that is Electro. I don't think it's a, it's a Nemesis. Is it, yeah? Carbon. There's a thrust. Where is this bike? So I want to replace this bike. Looks like I suddenly have a need for a Nemesis.
must be, must be in, in Southern San Andreas. I think it's blue basket. It's easy to do. Esky, the fire, Damon Borges. Primera, Chopper, Faggio, Mod, Knight played a very good sport. Bobber, Wolf, Space, Blue plays it. Bagger, Rat by Manchez. Dang, and the other thing. Enduro. There's a forgotten bike. The Sovereign. Gang, I don't know where the hell this bike comes from. Where do you get the Nemesis? Oh, there it is. It's a $12,000 bike from the Heist Update. Really? Why do... There's a free bet. If this is a freebie and we can just get rid of it. 12K, that's that's buying it back, that would be free. Now, if it'll let me sell. If it's upgraded, might not. If I did anything to it. But I believe it was a freebie. Yep, get rid of that. It's just, I haven't got the room for free cheap bikes. So let's pick something that uh, we want to move down the back. Alright, something that we're not going to grab often, but what we actually like. Mechanic. You're through to your garage. You uh need me to bring you a ride? Where do I need you? Again, arena workshop. There's nothing here. The slap shop, these are all made. E1 though, the club. My drift tampa. The drift tampa I'm still working with. The Sterling GT, the Z type. The Vito Classic. The Vito Classic is coming out. These we need to keep up here because we might be working on them. The Sultan RS. Yeah. Let's, on the way. let's, let's, let's uh, the warehouse the back the Baza special. I think that's an appropriate thing to do. Do 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 ding. The bad special. Do, 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 do. Not a bad car. It's a weird car, but it's not a bad car. If you say, well, it's not a weird car, it's just got the enable down. You have to know the history of where I'm going with this. It's just. It's, it's, it's hilarious. It had to be there. Okay, so that's a spot. Okay, here, you know what? I think the best thing to do is to take a car. Now that you can just return them. Take your car, drive it out to the road, return it, magically. Call up the mechanic to pull another one down. Look at this out. Vehicles. Wah. In the rain. Someone left my car out in the rain. Like my, my cars are always. Calling for some wheels? No I'm Johnny right. on the spot. Nice I'll hook you up. Yeah. Let's look at Arena B2. Anything? The yeah, adder's gonna be worked on. The nightshade, now they're gonna be together. The Sentinel Classic. That's a good looking race car. I'm working on. The goat. I can put the goat down here. Let's move the Vajero now. I'll get there as soon as I can. Not something I'm likely to grab, it's just a keepsake. There is a whole thing on this. Grabbing the Vajeros out the road and things like that. So, we grab the Vajero.
I could bring the GOAT down here because I never drive it. It is a racing mainstay, but I never drive it out and about. It is still a little bit bouncy. Let's sort this up a bit. Let us put this all the way to the front. Because he's going. The rest of it is not. That means we could put, really, theoretically, two more cars down here. Eventually. One more car for now. And then eventually when we get rid of the green one. Maybe I should leave one spot that I'm doing exactly the opposite of what I just did. I'm going for a jog. Maybe... Yeah, it's, it's, it's better to have free space in, in the workshop than anything else. The JB700 I might still put some, huh? on. One of your rides? Let me know. The Brioso 300. That's not getting raced ever. That's a that's a true collectible. Although it is something you show off for us. Yeah, it does have stripper pole stuff on it. No, I'll bring it we'll, by. we'll bring the Brioso 300. And we'll keep it next to. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it next to the Basimobile. Oh, no, that'll work. That's just. Need a little pack on the back just for. And this is so slow. Like it's never getting green. This is something I might take to a car show just to be silly. Then we're going to need some time. Okay, I think I set. Yeah, so we'll come back to this and then we'll do right now. We're just going to do the time warp again. It's a, it's an interesting eclectic selection of some cars that probably need new paint jobs. Probably need to be reworked a little bit. I know I can do better with this one. If I was in a coupe race... I don't know. But I couldn't use the uh, design in. Would this be the one? Maybe. Maybe. All right, cup holders. Time to go. Cup holders. We've got these cup holders. And I don't need more than one issy, and the other one doesn't have cup holders. But your cup holders look a little funky. And that coffee's been in there for well over five years. But whenever I started playing GT Online, I don't even remember. What the heck? 2013, it was 2014, I think, when it came out. Seven years? This is an old car. Hate to get rid of it. It's one of the originals, but then the other gray one is not far behind it. Look at this. Okay, we have to consider this. This is how long I've had this car. I didn't unlock all the upgrades yet. I mean, when was... That was uh, nine races or ranked... I think it was just nine races back then. I had to win races. The vented hood. The horn. I think I ever changed the horn, the lights. It's got some. I think the headlight. Yep, the headlines are, are xenons. The resprays. 
only the street suspension. So I, I would have to be rank 36, but probably, but before rank 56. This is really taking my back here. No turbo, because that was rank 100. Wheel type. Those are the stock ones. I'd put low riders on this or something. Did he even have bulletproof tires? Yeah, that's at rank 20. Windows, dark smoke. It's time. We have to do it. For $31,000, it leaves us. And thank you for your time decorating my garage. I'm feeling melancholy. And I'm not really planning on doing anything with the bikes here. The bikes are going to be... What the bikes are gonna be, but here's the bikes. Bikes, 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 bikes. I know I did something when I put this in here. Okay. So we have covered a lot of this before. Now for once, we can call him this Baker. And request a lift. Without having to set a waypoint because we're going to coming up. A casino, which you're actually supposed to. Yeah, are we recording? Yes, we're recording. Hurry! This poor guy doesn't know how close to death he is. You could have gone around the block or something there, son. What are you doing? All right, I'm gonna let this road see what happens.
All right, well, that was pretty uneventful. I'm here for a reason. I'll, uh... Partially, it's to go take a look at. Let's walk in the casino. Take a look at the garage here, just for completeness. Oh, look, there's very early, 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 early. Come check like out the doing new vehicle green, on blue the podium. Kind of thing. You can oh, win it with just a spin on the lucky wheel. We'll be back for that at some point. I rocked it. It's a green, blue kind of thing. Yeah. It's doing all this St. Patrick's Day. But, but. Okay, penthouse cool. Garage. The garage, 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 garage. And here we just have the cars that I've won. I don't think... Okay, I have one spot here because I got rid of that buffalo that I'd won. The black buffalo a while back. Purple. Hooray. You know, we got the, the one that, you know, you get from doing the missions. And again, I try to keep them all pretty much, you know, looking as stock as possible. This one, I think I just took the bat wings off so it would handle properly. That's my main racer right there. So many things that are, so much goodness here. But the main reason I came to the casino is it's the fastest way to Polito Bay. The fastest way to Palito Bay. Teleport yourself one day. Put your hand up and say, hold up a minute there. Hold up a minute there. Hold up a minute. Blah, 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 blah. Another limo ride. Another limo ride. And then... Bang! Here we go. Um, let's see. Let us call up our personal vehicle. I normally just right if I'm up here I'm going to Pixel Pete's to my other character, but not this time. We need some wheels. Put it on the other side of the street. Let's make sure this thing is fully fully revved up here. And I want to make sure it wasn't insured. What if it doesn't have a turn there or something? I mean yes, it's got crew lights on it, so it should be so that hot wheels kind of color to it. Why haven't we heard from you? You don't like PPI? We're a reputable firm. We've got work for you. How you been? Listen. You need some work. If you're bored, if you need money, you need any money? I'll do something despicable for a few dollars. Call me. What's wrong with her now? Keeps armors up, brakes up, engine up. Exhaust, dual, hood, we got the vented hood going. Lights are obviously done. Roll cage, we said no. Spoiler, it's got drag wing. That's got enough. Suspension is stuck. Should we slam it? That doesn't really do much difference, does it? Does it matter? Maybe it'll help a little bit, you never know. Transmissions race, turbos there, wheels as long as the tires are what we call bulletproof. Wheelie bar, no, windows, light smoke. There's a little, little bit of a tweak for it. It'll handle a little bit better because there's a little bit less compression to the wheels here. Yeah. A little bit lower. Just a little bit. Oh yeah. Just a little bit. I don't know, you thought we were going to the apartment class, but no. Do that next. Whoop whoop. As I go to the worst location for a facility. But also the cheapest. I really just wanted it for parking. I haven't yet finished the Doom's Day Heist, just so you Not, haven't done it. Not planning on doing it. 
It's not even like on a someday list for me. Like I guess maybe. Maybe someday I'll feel like doing that. It's kinda like saying maybe someday I'll feel like doing the Caleb Rico again, but no, uh, not not really all that way. It's a big place, so a lot of walking around. So here you get your Avenger, there's a tank up there. Let's let's just do the whole management thing and we'll see. Is there anything? Wrong side of the building. Okay. Let's see, we got the weaponized Tampa Obvious Keeper. The original white elephant obvious keeper, the Duke of Death, or which I like to call in other videos, the Ook of Death. You know, that's I want to keep. This Granger. Hey, it's one I just grabbed from the bad guys in uh, you know, one of the blowout missions, but is it really that hard to get? I mean, it fits because it is kind of an FBI Grangery kind of thing. You'd think there'd be one sitting around if you needed it. But I need parking. The tank. Like, that's just a, a parking space for the tank, so it's not available. There's Beachcomber. There's my half track. I think the move is get rid of the Granger. If I can get rid of the Granger. Is it too soon? Might be too soon. Get rid of my thruster. Guys, I mean they're nice. It's got you know some custom stuff. Zoom, zoom. It does have sixty nine in the plate. I don't know. I don't think I can sell it right now. Anyway. We will just have that will be our. Hey, there is a purpose to it. There is a purpose. Is that a facility would be a place where you'd get the black SUVs. That just makes sense. Okay, let's. It's getting less and less critical as I get rid of more and more stuff. This garage. I don't think I'm getting rid of anything here either. Oomph. Yeah, we've been over this. There's rare stuff. There's not so rare stuff that help me get rare stuff. I mean, there's just here's my top my top gear, North Pole, Everon. You know, the hot rod blazer. To come on, there's just things here. This I got from Merriweather. That was hard to get. Everything insured. It's all insured, insured, insured. What's left? Well, the only thing I have left with store stuff, it doesn't have anything to do with my cars. Which I don't know why you don't get a parking space in this thing anyway. For your car. Just because it's a hanger. Is the hanger. Let me here's a quick thing here. I, I might have to at some point. Like, there's really no point in having this buzzard. And I, I, I'm hitting the point of where storage is a thing. There's this buzzard attack. Modify. Ah, Remove this, this aircraft from your hangar. What we got in mind? Fifth. So now I have, I can get another plane. Because it, it, I actually had a point where I could not store anything in here. So that is out so that I could you know, get rid of the buzzards. I, mean, I can call up infinite amounts of buzzards. Just having one that's like all nice and chrome. It's just, you know, not a thing. The cargo bomb, being able to call in a cargo bomb is a personal thing. That does help. 
Here was the new plan. I haven't done anything with this. I think maybe yeah, it's been upgraded, but that's that was that was the one where I tried to buy it and I didn't have any room. Blue Thunder, the Akula. For the storage. I mean we've got a good number of planes. The Cuban comes with it. I don't think, other than the cargo bottle, I don't think there's anything else in there that's like something I just flew in. Maybe the Vestra? Vestra and the Vestra, maybe? Where I could make room. We're not going to sell stuff. I'm not planning on buying a whole lot of planes yet here, but you know. Could put another couple more small planes out. There's not one on the other side of it? Oh, yes, there is. A Nakoda. I have a B11 in there, but I don't have any room on. Yeah, I, I hardly ever use it. It's, it's painted just like uh, Power Glide. But if I was going to use that, I'd use the Hydra. There is double money on this stuff this week. But boy, I don't even know if I want to be bothered. Here we go. Well, folks, I mean, I'm going to take a little bit of, get a little bit of altitude here. Pull the gear up. I call those are explosive. Not very explosive, but explosive. Now let's take a look at the map. Got that one, you did, you got those, hit both of those, hit those in there. A little bit of autopilot would be nice when you're looking at the map. Yep, that's all of my properties that have storage. We've looked at them all, we've looked at what's there. We've made as much room as we can. Let's see what we'll do. Let us can. Towards Garage B2. I think that's where most of it is. There's one or two free elsewhere. That's mostly what we're looking at. I ain't have to go through the video and see what I. And that's one useful thing. I'll go through the video and see exactly how many cars I have freed up from. I'm doing all this. I don't know where that. Hopefully kind of normal. I think that's, that's a double money thing for me. Okay, not a lot of good places to put this down. And... There we go. Breaks, 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 breaks. Don't walk into the uh, the blades. B2. Let's just go to the organization thing here. So we've got an adder. We can move that next to Bumblebee over here. We've got one, two, three, four. Four spots. After all that, four spots. Let's have to look up if that's drift or not. If we want to do that as a drift or if we want to do it as something more funnier. I don't know. Something more classy. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to build that yet. This one, I don't think has any regular. has one regular spot. So there's five. 
Empty. Yes, yeah, so we've got two. Six, five, six spots. Ooh. Six cars. Is there anything upstairs? I'm almost positive that I have one more somewhere else. I'm not sure which garage that I pull something out of. I don't think it's this one. I did not want to... Well, I hit the wrong button. There's a button mash there. All right. And this side's full. Well, let's grab something anyway. I haven't taken the, impa the uh, impaler out in a while. Yep, yeah, get ready here. Which was this one? On that note, ladies and gentlemen, now you have an idea of what I had, what I've got, maybe where I'm going. And yeah, I know, this is largely just a vanity piece for myself. I've done a, a, a few different garage tours, partially and impartially. <laughs> but uh, this is just the latest as of this date. Somebody's screaming for no reason and the game is starting to, to choke. And... Uh, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found this at least halfway interesting. And uh, please subscribe and press like if you did. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Oh my goodness, I forgot one vehicle. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Well, I actually forgot where I keep the Sparrow and that other silly submersible. Um, but as far as vehicles... Vehicles. Where's the vehicle? Put that back in storage. Hello, mechanic. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? The Toreador. I'll bring it to you. Style. The Dapper CEO. I oh, certainly where's where's my Dapper CEO? It's back to being just a little old me. Well, I get into my to Riador. To Riador. Toriador. Still debating whether I should give it light smoke. That's it. There you go. There's the whole nine yards. Oh, and there's the limo. I think, I think I forgot the limo. I, th I think we're good now. Alright, that's funny. I cleared to land and then be misbehaving because I aim to misbehave. Busted nuts, kill the president. Okay, let's do busted nuts.
Okay, so Danny boy. Send him on Danny. Hey, they won't be expecting that one. Uh, uh, I might not even do anything if I swap cameras. This dude's gonna be a sheep daddy. <laughs> He's gonna be sheep daddy prime boy. he has to do. Hit that button. And that's a daily. Sort of air freight cargo. That might take a little while. The race book is open and the horses are running at the inside track. Stop by and play. Hashtag back on top. Fuck that fucker. Performance. Oh. Sorry. COVID vaccines.
So what's up? Has, uh, Wendy ever said anything to you about me? <sighs> Sorry, dude. Is that blazer aqua? That's not double, you moron. Boo. Oh, okay, bippily boo, free for nothing. No one's gonna confirm me. I do have to send him that. Who's out here? Okay. I only want more game because it's a requirement. Where's 15? Fourteen. And then it's a double on. Is done, done. So, all we need to do now is go here. First of all, I guess what we need. This is your last chance. Oh, I hardly like to think so. I'm gonna pass on that. Thank you. This is your last chance to take advantage of the ultimate bonus GTA dollars offer from Shark. The ultimate bonus? This is the. It's never gonna get any better. It's. N you're never gonna see it again. All you need to do is spend a hundred dollars and get an extra twelve million GTA. I. Nah, I can. I have better places I can put that hundred bucks. Let's see, so that's a hundred bucks to get twenty million dollars. Can I make a hundred I can I make twenty million dollars without going through a hundred dollars worth of electric power? I'm fairly certain that I can. And so there you go. Technically speaking, I've already got the key. I think you get some money out of it too. Money. That's a thing. Alright. Yeah, see this guy? I don't know if anybody, everybody sees that. I think it might be a... Just grab it out of his butt. Whoa, oh, it's right up his ass. There you go. He's keeping it where he should have kept the watch. All right, it's just... Probably won't put that in a racing video. Okay, this guy just smashed into some. What is he hitting? Balls. There's nothing there. We're going to hell. Fuck. Oh. 
What is he hitting? Are, are you seeing this? Okay. 